Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Ligeia. Alright, so last time we defeated Songi in the Seru Kai, saved the Great Genesis Tree, and also picked up the Terra Summon for Noah. So now we are ready to pretty much face the end of the game. I mean, our next destination is to head back to Rim Elm and try to take care of things there. After that, that'll pretty much be it. Pretty much all the evil people are dead now. So, um, obviously, before we do that, we have a couple of little side things that we want to sort of finish up um, before we actually head back there. Um, I mentioned last time we need to pick up our Rosseru summons with our other two characters, Galas and Iswas, Forest, Vaughn, and Soul. Um, we also have the Muscle Dome in Soul that we need to take care of. Hope you haven't forgotten about that. And um, there's also an optional boss that we can take care of as well. So, a couple things we want to get done first before we actually start making our way towards the end. Um, the first order of business, I guess we'll start with the closest place, which would be Byron Monastery. Um, it turns out we actually need to head back to both East Vaz Forest and West Vaz Forest for um, the Seru Summon and also another treasure we'll be picking up. And unfortunately, the forests don't count as a town, so you can't use a door of wind to get back to them, which means we're going to have to walk all the way through the monastery to get there. But it's kind of cool to see this place again, haven't been here in such a long time. So... This guy should be doing good. Probably won't bother, like, checking again on Zopu or anything, though. I don't know. It's not really worth wasting all that time. Alright, so we head up the stairs, go back through this one, and then uh, west or east. It doesn't matter which one you do first. We're going to have to visit both of them anyway. Um, so I guess we'll just start with the west side. Make our way out through here. And we're back on the world map. Um, and now, since we're pretty much just wanting to run through and obviously fighting battles is just a giant waste of time at this point, might be a good idea to um, put on the good luck bell, or if you have a lot of incenses, you might want to use those. Um, I'll also probably put on the chicken heart just to make sure we have a better chance at running away. So yeah, it's been quite a long time since we walked down this path, huh? The last time was when we were heading to our second region, um, after just having defeated Zito and the Mist Generator over here, so... Yep, the last time we walked through here, Gala was probably still in the single-digit levels. That's just how long it's been. Alright, so made it there without a battle. That's good. Good luck belt definitely helps with that. Now we just have to find our way through this place. Shouldn't be too bad, but... <laughs> Alright, so I think to the right was a treasure, so we need to head this way. Then once we hit this path, we can pretty much just go straight up. All the other paths lead you to treasures and stuff. Now, I believe at some point here we need to turn left. It's going to be after this, though. We hop off the little tree that's still thankfully standing there, otherwise we'd be screwed. Um, yeah, I think here we need to turn to the left. Yeah, because there's the save point, and this is the way on through. So we head through this little tunnel of hollowed-out logs here, and you can see this is where the old Genesis tree was. Um, we picked up a raw Cero egg from here. This is where we got Ozma. And you can see there's also been a chest that's been planted in front of it for no apparent reason, and there's a dark stone inside. Now, this is another one of those um, items that you can take to Zalan and have him make you a talisman out of. So that's going to give us another summon for sure, and uh, we'll definitely have to check that out. Alright, so there's one of two forests down. Now we just need to head back and go to East Vaz Forest, which again is a little bit of a walk, but <laughs> that's just how it goes. Yeah, it's, I don't know, it's, it's really ominous to just hear this music playing, like, anywhere you go on the world map. Why am I following the path? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, but it's always there to remind you that Rim Elm's still in trouble. Uh, if you go to other regions of the map, the traditional music will play there, so... Alright, so back through here. I'm not sure if it would have been faster to actually use a Door of Wind and just go through the Monastery again. I don't know, but either way, we're pretty much here already. So now let's go to East Vaz Forest. And out we go. It would be so much easier if we could just use a Door of Wind to get to the forests, but nope, <laughs> I gotta walk it. Alright, now this one, I'm not sure if we can get to without a battle or not. I think we should. We'll have to see. Oh, almost there. Made it. Alright, now this is the one where we uh, got to... Oh, we get to hear this again! 
Ah, I love it. <laughs> Don't have to break those, but I just uh, haven't heard that in such a long time, so it's refreshing to hear it again. You know, it really has been quite a while since we've been back here. Uh, for the most part, I think this one's pretty straightforward. We should just be able to go up most of the time and reach the end. <laughs> awesome. Alright, so just one more screen to go, I think. Uh, and that's the treasure. That's going to lead us back around. So I think it's to the right, if I remember. Yeah, this will let us get through. Oop. Yeah, I would break them all, but I don't know. That's just a waste of time at this point. Alright, so the Genesis tree should be on this screen. Oh, going up. Yeah, this will do it. So yeah, you remember when we came here last time, Songi was here. Alright, so um, let's see. Yeah, now once we get here, we need to talk to the Genesis Tree. A voice is heard from beyond the Genesis Tree. Gala, Ozma, Human and Seru who live in the present. T sends you the last of his powers so that you may correct history now. And Ozma gets increased to level 7. Ozma's true powers have come out. You have the last of my power, my very spirit. Sweet. Alright, so now, obviously, if we check Gala's magic, you can see he's got Ozma up there in the top. Voltagore. Ooh, that's an awesome-sounding name. And Queen Twister. Not quite as awesome, but... <laughs> Alright, so Vaughn's pretty much the only one left, and as I already mentioned, we're gonna need to go to Soul for that. So, Door of Light. We're also, I think, starting to run out of Doors of Wind. I'm gonna have to buy some more of those, but... <laughs> Alright, so let's go back in our menu here. Oh, I've still got eight doors I would never mind. I thought I was kind of running out. Um, let's see, first I think I'm actually going to stop by Jeremy and have Zalan turn that Dark Stone into an accessory for us. Uh, pretty much, I will show all these spells, of course. Um, I'm pretty much just going to wait until we get them all so we can just do it all back to back. This one in particular is kind of cool, actually, the one we're about to get. Uh, so here we are back in Jeremy for the last time you get to hear this music. Not sure if you're actually ever going to get to hear this again, so I don't know. Savor it while we're here, I suppose. Alright, so he's going to say all the same stuff that he said before, so let's let him see the Dark Stone. Let's just go ahead and skip by this, what he say? <laughs> there we go. Alright, so now we have the Dark Talisman. Uh, and obviously, as I said, this is what's going to let us have another summon spell we can use. Let's see if we can find it in the uh, list here. I've got like a million. Here it is, Dark Talisman. So it's on Vaughn. Let's check his magic, and you can see that'll let us summon Jado. Deadly Promise, attack all enemies, 200 MP, just like all the others. Alright, so there's that. Now the next stop is going to be to Seoul in order to check out the Genesis Tree. I uh, remember the whole story with Gaza down there, so it's kind of neat that we get to run back and, you know, sort of experience some of the places we've been to before. Um, I always enjoyed things in games where you got to do that, so. Alright, Door of Wind, Seoul. And then after we do this, we can um, see all the spells, and I'm not sure exactly how much time we'll have after that, but we'll see. Alright, so here we are at Seoul. We actually have a couple things to do. Remember, I mentioned the Muscle Dome, so we'll have to come back for that. Um, I'm actually going to probably put that off for a little bit. Um, and in fact, I, I think I'm actually going to put off the optional boss as well, now that I think about it. Um, mostly just because by the time we get to the end, there'll be a really, really good spot we can grind. Uh, and of course, I'll get to that, but um, I don't know. After we do this and show the spells, I think it might be time to actually head into the final dungeon for a bit. Um, and then once we get to the end of it and there's a good spot to grind some experience, we'll head back out, take care of the rest of the stuff. Then after we do that, we can come back and finish beating the game. Yeah, we're, we're that close. There's really only a handful of things left to do. Alright, so if you don't remember, this Genesis tree is kind of a pain to get to. We got a lot of rooms to go through. Of course, no more of a pain than the rest of them, I guess, except for Noah's. 
Alright, so, yep, this is the room. Thankfully, all the stuff's deactivated, so we just run down to it. Then once we check the Genesis tree here, a voice is heard from beyond the Genesis tree. Vaughn and Meta, human and Rosseru, who see the future. Teague sends you the last of his power so that you may correct history now. And there we go. Meta is now level 9, the highest level the Rosseru can reach. You have the last of my power, my very spirit. Awesome, that's good to know. So now magic, you can see we've got Meta, Terra, and Ozma. Awesome. I think it is time to go um, check those spells out now. I'll have to remember to put the Dark Talisman on as well. Now the downside is, I don't think you can use a door of light from here, considering this isn't a dungeon or anything. Let's see. Oh, I'll look, just in case. Nope. Alright, so let's make our way on back up. Oh yeah, we gotta go through all these rooms again. It's not quite that simple. It's kinda hard to see where I'm going. Alright, and from here we're almost out. And then just up a little bit more. So there's loads, there it goes. There's the elevator. One more floor. Item shop, here's the exit. Awesome. Alright, so I'm pretty excited to see these spells. These spells are actually quite cool. Uh, we might show the one that I... the, the Dark Stone one, the Dark Talisman one first. So take off the Good Luck Bell also, because we're trying to get into a battle, so Dark Talisman. Uh, but yeah, these spells are awesome. They will pretty much obliterate anything, especially the Rosseru summons. Um, it's incredible how much damage those things do. So alright, let's run around in circles for a bit. Alright, so here we go. Um, first up, like I said, we're going to show Jado's spell. So let's have Vaughn go ahead and take care of that. Everybody else, Spirit. <laughs> That's always been one of my favorite spells. Rather fitting for a dark element, and as you can tell, there were no damage numbers or anything. It's pretty much just an instant kill spell. Um, and as far as I know, it has like an almost guaranteed chance to work, as long as you're not facing a boss or anything. Um, let's see, Meta is... Okay, so he's got enough. I was just making sure he had enough MP to go ahead and use the next spell. Alright, so after this, all that's left to check out are Meta, Terra, and Ozma. So let's run around in circles a little bit more. It seems like it always takes forever when I want to get into a battle, but any other time, it's like there's a battle every other step. It's like games have this innate way of telling that, you know? Alright, so next up is going to be Meta, Inferno, attack all enemies. Look at that, we actually broke the 10,000 damage barrier. 
like I said, these spells just absolutely obliterate everything. Awesome. <laughs> so, yep, we've got two more to go. Next up is going to be Terra's, and then we'll get to do Ozma. And after that, it looks like we're pretty much going to have to stop, so... I don't know, it's kind of been a fool-around type episode, but oh well. These spells are cool, so I guess it's worth it in the end. Alright, Spirit and Terra. Spirit again. Terra's spell isn't quite as damaging, but, you know, then again, Noah was never really a big magic user to begin with, so, um, I don't know, it, it's kind of expected that hers would be a little bit lower. She's more of the physical type. Alright, so only one more to check out, Ozma and his Voltigore. So, let's get into another battle. <laughs> you know, it's if, if you play a lot of old RPGs, you find you spend a lot of time just running around in circles, but... <laughs> Spirit, Spirit, Ozma, and that'll do it. Yeah, that one wasn't quite as big either, but, um, oh well, that's alright. I mean, <laughs> Meta just tore it up. It's kind of hard to follow up that kind of an act, you know? Alright, so there you go. That is every spell in the game except for that Water Rosseru, which um, I regret to inform you I'm not going to get. I've already decided at this point. It doesn't count towards the 100% treasure or anything. And that fishing is just such a pain that I really just can't put myself through it. It's not really even that good of a spell, to be honest. It kind of sucks, so you're not really missing much, trust me. But <laughs> Alright, so that takes care of the um, one of the side things we needed to do, and that's finishing out all our spells. Um, now we still have the optional boss, the Muscle Dome, and then beating the game. I'm actually going to put off the first two, like I said, until we get towards the end of the final dungeon. So um, next time what we're actually going to do is head back to Rim Elm and see if we can get inside of the dungeon, castle, town, whatever you want to call it there, and see what we can do. So until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.